Hey everyone, it's Bob with Bob CNC out in the shop this weekend working on my KL7. Uh, if you're following uh, these videos, you'll understand I'm working on a new controller. It's the ESP32, runs a six axis uh, gerbil. So uh, I have it connected to the uh, fourth axis here and it's actually rotating. Uh, the big news is though, is I've completed my controller box which allows the extra driver in there now, I did actually have the Raspberry Pi in there also, but it was heating up, so I took that out. So just the uh, uh, gerbil controllers in there, and then I have a USB that's connecting. Uh, also, uh, you know, the ESP32 is Bluetooth, so you can take a, a, a little Android tablet. Uh, I, I like the uh, 7 inch. It's about the right size to fit in your hand, and it will Bluetooth. Uh, using gerbil controller, which is free, or you can buy the premium version for, I think it's under $12 or $13. Uh, it's, a, it's a good deal. Uh, actually, you can connect both uh, the Raspberry Pi and the Bluetooth. We never recommend that. Probably uh, cause some screw up somewhere, but it seems to be working. I have not uh, started a uh, rotary project yet. That's next on my list, but I did go ahead and uh, do a three axis to make sure that the uh, controller working at 3.3 volts would actually uh, work with the servo drives that we have. I talked to the manufacturer of the servo drives and he said you want to connect them hot or leave, you know, leave them high at 3.3 volts and for the signal you want to drop it to ground so it will, it will get the signal and it works out very well. Uh, the, I ran a detailed Aztec calendar and it definitely shows uh, that the step direction signals are, are working. So, so here is the uh, Aztec calendar, and you can see if I zoom in, it's got plenty of detail. So you can uh, see that the step direction signals are working just fine. And if I go ahead and look inside the power box, you can see the extra power supply. So there's three power supplies in the extra servo drive for the A, and you can also see the new controller being connected. So the box is a little bit wider, uh, and uh, it seems to uh, be doing okay. So more testing to come. Also, you can see the uh, rotary setup here uh, is connected, actually works. I'm gonna put a different type of spoil board so I get a little bit more clearance, and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, run a project. So really and truly, that's uh, how the KL7 uh, projects are going, coming along here in the uh, shop. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll give you an update next time uh, we get some stuff going on. Bye.